I am joined by the DA leader, John Stienhaisen. I won't be long with him because the bells are ringing, an indication that they need to be inside. But John, I heard you saying that the real state of the nation address will be after today. Yeah, this is a play-play uh, state of the nation address. It's not going to be realistic. We're going to need lots of populist promises like we've heard over the last five years. The reality is with a 6% budget deficit and all of the broken promises of the last five years, nobody believes that the bells are ringing and they're ringing for Sura Ramaphosa. This will be the last State of the Nation address by an ANC president with their own majority. And I think that the real State of the Nation address will be in a couple of weeks' time after the election where the real vision about how we're going to rebuild and rescue South Africa is going to be set out. What must he be saying tonight to give hope or to inspire confidence to the public? I, don't, I think that the president's got a credibility problem. I think that you know he's promised us jobs, they haven't materialized. Unemployment is worse. He promised us to fight crime, crime has gone up. Gender-based violence has gone up. He's promised us to fix load shedding for the last five years. Load shedding is worse than it is now. He promised to fight corruption. Corruption is now worse than it was under Jacob Zuma. This is a president who's no longer believable. So whatever he says tonight, I think is going to be like water off a duck's back, frankly. I think everyone's ready for the election because they know that the election is going to bring the real change that South Africa needs. How do you think then things are going to be done going forward when that real state of the nation address is being done? What issues and how are these issues, the challenges that the country is facing now, are going to be addressed? Well, I unveiled my blueprint to rescue South Africa in the course of the last week sets out very clearly how we would fix load shedding, how we would get parliament working again, how we would make sure we can get people into work, how we would protect social grants by ensuring financial security, and how we would fight corruption by reintroducing the Scorpions. Those are the things that I'm looking forward to being delivered after this election as part of a new government in South Africa. Let's talk after his speech. Thank you so much, Lou. Cheers. That was the DA leader, John Stienhaisen, as all the MPs now and the invited guests are expected to be inside um, the city hall, sitting in the public gallery for the visitors and the guests, and the MPs will be taking their seats and wait for President Cyril Ramaphosa to address the nation.